Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. What's going on, fifth grade? Welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. I'm so excited that you guys are here. In fact, let's go ahead and get started. So I hope that you have your worksheet. And if you do, I'd like for you to go ahead and pause the video and complete number one and number two to the very best of your ability. And if you're thinking, Miss McCarthy, I don't have the worksheet that you're talking about here. How am I gonna solve it? Well, check out the link below or somewhere around this video. That link will take you to a place where you can download the worksheet that you need for this video, along with the other other worksheets that I'll release as I upload new videos for this series. All right, so go ahead. Now is the time to pause the video, throw down your best, and come on and see me to check your work. Welcome back fifth grade. Let's see how you did, okay? Of course, first we're going to take a look at the question type. I'm seeing which number does not, just reading it carefully, or answer choices there. So what kind of question do you think this is? Yeah, it's a multiple choice question. So let's write that down. Now let's go through and mark up our question. It says, which number, let's which number here, does not, we need to make sure we pay attention to not, does not round to eight. I love rounding. When rounded to the nearest whole number. When we're referring to the whole number, which place are we referring to? The ones place, yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is round all of these numbers with decimals to the nearest ones place or to the nearest whole and figure out which one does not round to eight. Okay, let's start here. Seven. 7 and 531. I'm gonna go ahead and use the rounding wrap that I use in McCarthy Math 155. This is the game-changing series on my website that has a video for practically every day of the school year, so I really encourage you to check it out. I'm going to use the rounding wrap here, and if you're like, oh my gosh, I really like that, I wanna know that better, stay tuned because at the end of the video, I'll send you to McCarthy Math 155 and show you exactly where you can locate the rounding wrap videos, okay? All right to the nearest hole. So here goes the wrap. When you round, find, and underline the place, which place are we talking about? The hole, which is the one's place. Spotlight to the right, decide the digit's fate. So to the right, I'm looking at this digit. This is five or more, and the wrap goes, five or more, add one to the rounding place. So plus one, we're gonna take care of that right here, right now. What's seven plus one? Eight. Everything after becomes zero. Check me out now, I'm the rounding hero. And don't forget your decimal. So this one rounds to 
eight because we could technically drop the decimal and the zeros. We want to find which one does not round to eight so we can eliminate that one. Let's take a look at the next guy, seven and eight tenths. When you round find and underline the place, the hole. Spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. Well, well that is five or more so we're going to add one to the rounding place. Let's take care of that right here. Right now, what's seven plus one again? Eight. And everything after B comes zero. Check me out now, I'm the rounding hero. Eliminate eight and 99 thousandths. If you know that you need help reading and writing decimals or rounding decimals or comparing decimals, check out McCarthy Math 155. I will send you there. I will tell you all about that at the end of this video. You round find and underline the place. Spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. This is four or less, so we just keep it the same. And everything after becomes zero. Check me out now, I'm the rounding hero. Eliminate, because this equals eight as well. So it must be D, let's just go ahead and select it, because that seems like the smart thing to do. Wrong, don't do that. Make sure that you solve it out just the same, just to make sure. When you round find and underline the place, spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. That's five, that's five or more, so we're going to Add one to the rounding place. Let's take care of that right here, right now. What's eight plus one? It is nine and ding, ding, ding. Somebody's honking out there. Somebody's alarm is going up. Which equals nine. That is, which does not round to eight. So we are going to pick that one. Choice D is the final answer. All right, make any corrections that you need to make. And if you know that you need more help rounding, stay tuned to the end of this episode where I will point you in the right direction for some more videos. This, it says match. This definitely looks like a matching problem. So we are going to refer to this type as the matching item. Now let's read and mark up our text, okay? Match the value, which is the amount of each decimal number to the correct, so these are the numbers with a decimal in it, which are right here. We're going to match these decimal numbers to the correct whole number. A whole number means that there are no decimals or fractions when rounded to the nearest whole. Okay, so we are going to take these numbers that have decimals and we will match them to the correct whole numbers up there. The way that we will match it is we'll determine is it seven or is it eight and we'll line it up. Okay, let's start with this one. I can do it right there. When you round find and underline the place, it says round into the nearest whole, so I'm going to underline the ones place again. I should have written that down. Ones. Spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. That is four or less, so we just keep it the same. And everything after B comes zero, that means that our answer is seven. So which would be A. They meet at A, bubble in A. Next. When you round find and underline the place, spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. Well, this is four or less, so we just keep it the same. And everything after B comes zero. Check me out now, I'm the rounding hero, which means that seven and 47 hundredths rounds to seven. C, next. I'm gonna bring this down here just so it doesn't get all mixed up together. When you round find and underline the place, spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. This is five or more, so we add one to the round in place. Let's take care of that right here, right now. What's seven plus one? Eight. And everything after B comes zero. Check me out now, I'm the rounding hero. Which would be F because it lines up with eight. Final one. 
When you round find and underline the place. Uh, spotlight to the right, decide the digits fate. That's five or more. So we add one to the rounding place. Let's take care of that right here, right now. What is seven plus one, y'all? It is eight. Well done. And everything after B comes zero. Check me out now. I'm the rounding hero. Right? Bubble in your correct answers. Notice, did you see how much thinking that I placed my journey, my thinking on paper? That way I could clearly show the direction that I was going. It helped me to slow down a little bit to really analyze what the question was asking me to do and to not make as many mistakes. So I really encourage you, your paper should not look blank. You should not just be marking the answers. You should be working out the problems, showing all the journey that's happening here on paper. Got it? You have made it to the end of this video and I promised you that I would send you in the right direction for some more practice. So if you know that you need some more help with rounding, if you want to round like a boss, or if you just need practice with decimals, comparing, reading and writing numbers with decimals, whatever. While this particular standard is rounding, we do a lot with decimals in fifth grade and McCarthy Math 155 has your back. You can go from, huh, to I totally got this now. I've created the tools, but you have to choose to use them and own them. So if you need some more help, check out McCarthy Math 155. There's a link below. I want you to check out Unit 4. Now remember, you have to become a member in order to see these videos here. But you do get a seven day free trial. So watch as many as you can in the seven day free trial and you're going to see that it's worth it. Teachers, if you purchase one of the affordable memberships, you can actually share the videos with your students. I walk through how to do just that in the tutorials tab. So check that out. Several years ago, I created a series called How to Pass the Math FSA. Back then, the Math FSA used to be a computer-based test. It's not anymore, it's a paper pencil test, which is why I created this boot camp series to get you ready. Still, the How to Pass the Math FSA series provides wonderful practice for you, so I really encourage you to check out that free video. Also, why don't you stay in the loop with everything McCarthy Math Academy by following me on my social media platforms. I'm on Instagram and Facebook at McCarthy Math Academy. And I'm also on YouTube, of course, at McCarthy Math Academy. While you're here and enjoying this video, why don't you go ahead and smash that like button to let me know that you learned something today or that you feel confident about this test. Thank you. Finally, before I go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right, you are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light and shine it bright. Watch out world because we have a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice, choose kindness and you always have that choice. And I'll see you all on the next video. Can't wait.